Good evening, my lovely YouTube friends. Little update on the coronavirus, and I thought this was crazy. There was a, a report on CBS News that was say, stating that the government actually had uh, like 30 million masks for healthcare workers if it came to, like they needed to. I'll leave it to the government. But unfortunately, these masks are expired. So, with the healthcare workers, like if you needed to dip into that allotment of masks, you would ask your healthcare workers to use expired masks. There's a reason things have an expiration date. Milk has an expiration date, eggs, cheese, meat, many things have an expiration date for a reason. It means the integrity of the product is no longer sufficient. I don't, I wouldn't expect any American to eat rotten meat. You shouldn't expect your healthcare workers to use expired masks because you are putting their safety at risk. And if you have healthcare workers that are using N95 masks that are expired, who is going to get sick? Yes, the healthcare workers. Who is going to take care of the sick healthcare workers? Please explain that to me, American government. Why this stock wouldn't be rotated appropriately like anyone else. You don't open the old, the new milk before you get rid of the old milk. Why this stash was not properly looked after? Like who left the gate open? Like who did monitor this? It's unreal that not only are you risking American people, you don't have enough test kits. And then on top of it, the supply of masks that you have are expired. So go on America, join the healthcare workers when they run out of actual commercial like masks that we get from companies and get yourself an expired mask. Absolutely not. You should be ashamed to even come at any healthcare worker and say, you're going to risk your own personal safety so we can use these expired masks for corona patients. And, and any American needs to be outraged that your mother, your sister, your brothers, your cousins, your aunts, your uncles, your moms are being put at risk by using these masks that you don't know how long they're how long they've been there. How long are they degraded? What is going on? Is the integrity of the mask degraded? So come on, America, let's go eat some rotten meat and drink some spoiled milk because this is what they're doing to the healthcare workers. Shame on you, government, for not handling this correctly the first place. You should have stopped the travel. Number one, stop the travel stopped the travel would have stopped the spread stopped it completely but you were too worried about money and as you can see the stock market is still affected because you only staved off the execution and you prolonged the pain what you should have done is done the right thing by the american people and the healthcare workers and ensure that you had an adequate adequate supply of what you needed and and, and stop the travel stop it and you would have cut all this off, 100%. Like, it would have never got here, there. If everybody just cut it off, just two weeks, cut it, stay here. Or just stay in your place. Stay in your quarantine zone. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Stay here. Yes, you're going to have that. You're going to have some of the same economic effects. But they're not going to be prolonged. And who knows the lasting effect? Because you should have done what was right in the first place. And everyone talks about ethics in healthcare. Where are the ethics? What about the ethics for the, for, for the people that are on the nurses and the doctors and the surgeons and the care aides? And what about their families? It's okay for their families? It's not okay. This is not okay at all. 100% not okay. It is not okay anymore. It is not okay for us to live substandard based on other people's greed. It is not okay, America. It is not okay anymore. We have to learn how to help each other, love each other, and take care of each other. This is not okay. And if you elected some of these officials that are saying that this is okay, find new officials. I don't care what party you're with, what demographic you're with. If, if these are the people that we elected and they're saying that this is okay, we need to find some new people to elect that actually care about us that care about the American people. I don't know where they are, but you know what? We need to find them. And I don't care if they're purple, green, black, blue, purple spots, 
Who cares at this point? You need to find elected officials that actually care about not only the healthcare workers, just in general about the American population. They should be serving us. Their job is to serve us. Their job isn't to serve big banks and economies. Their job is to serve us, the American people. We put them in their position. If we put them in their position and they're not making the right decisions, then guess what we do? We fire them. We take them out. Understand this, America. They're risking us all. We all should be irate. We all should be upset. Anybody that has any kind of healthcare worker in their family right now should just be having a fit over this because they're, they're going to bring all this home. What if your mom has, has diabetes or all these complications and hypertension and say she's 55 and she's a nurse and she gets sick and can't fight it off? No, we're not doing this to our healthcare workers. We're not doing this to America. Everybody needs to stand up right now and say that this is wrong. This is 100% wrong. Anyway, that's my spiel. Everybody make sure you wash your hands. Some things, I'm sorry, as a nurse, they really get to me because I understand the plate of nurses and we work so many hours and 12 hour days. And like, there's times where like, you hold your bladder for like eight hours in a shift. Like, you know, like you, you don't eat sometimes you eat like when you get home or you, you, you miss time with your family and your kids and you make all these sacrifices for other people and their families. And plenty of times they don't appreciate it, nor do they care. But guess what? We're still nurses and we still love what we do. And people should respect us for as such. And you know, when they say emergency response people, they don't count us. All those benefits that EMTs and paramedics get, nurses don't get them. We don't have no housing help if you're a nurse. We don't have school relief as a nurse. We don't have any of them programs. We have none of that. So you know what, America, please take care of your nurses. Take care of your medical professionals, especially since you're nurses. Your nurses are in the trenches. Not only are they changing, cleaning people, and I'm not talking about care aides. I'm talking about actual nurses. They're, they're, they're seeing people, they're uh, looking at these patients and saying, these are coronavirus patients. They are on the front line, like literally front line, hands on. They, this should never occur. Anyway, American people, sorry for my rant and my tangent, but again, wash your hands, 100% wash your hands. Love your nurses and your healthcare professionals, AIDS nurses, whoever it is. If you have to find N95 masks for your nurses, I suggest you go find some. It took me eight stores to find some for a friend. So now I have to go on a hunt for my own. That being said, I love you guys. Please, please, please respect and love your nurses and just, just love each other as American people. Make sure definitely wash your hands. Good hand hygiene, get some sanitizer, get a few extra supplies in your house, like a few extra meals, a few extra, a few extra, extra diapers if you need meds, Tylenol, Motrin, those kinds of things. Get, get a little stock up of some of the things that you actually need or use on a regular basis. With that being said, I love you fellow nurses. We rock, dog. Um, I, I hope everyone has a good evening, but I just had to share my thought because I was just like, oh, what is wrong with people? Anyway, I love you guys. I think I'm going to go make like 800 wreaths right now because I'm so stressed. So probably 900 bow videos coming later. Um, anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and everything as well. All right. I hope everybody has a beautiful evening and a nice weekend. And I'll continue to keep us updated with the coronavirus craziness. Have a good day. Deuces.